Hello Ocean Heroes, it's Harry again and today I'm with Taka Taka Bora! And I'm learning how to reform and repurpose plastic waste that would have ended up in landfill or destined for the ocean. Here on the island of Unguja in Zanzibar, there are only a few areas covered by a government-backed waste collection scheme, like here in Stonetown for example. However, if I jump to here in Jambiani, one of hundreds of tiny villages across the island, there is nothing. And what's worse than this, there is no recycling infrastructure, only done by a handful of private businesses across the island. With 640 tonnes of waste produced daily on the island, with plastics making up 50% of that, most plastics are either dumped in the jungles, in the river, or just simply left on the ground. So today I'm with Shani and her crew from Taka Taka Bora, who are one of a handful of organisations tackling this plastic waste problem by collecting and transforming it into new products. So let's take a look at this amazing process. So the process starts with the informal waste collectors. We basically teach them which are the plastics that we can recycle. We equip them with buckets and shearers to be able to cut the plastics into manageable sizes and then they go out and collect the plastics. Cut it for us, clean it, they then bring it here and then on our scale we weigh it and then we pay per kilogram. And so this program we will roll out throughout the island. We recycle HDPE plastic and polypropylene plastic. The most important thing is the toxic fumes that gets released for protection of ourselves but also for the environment. You know, there's no point in making a beautiful product but we're actually polluting the air. Um, so those are the two that we are able to work with at this stage with the type of equipment we have, which is very small scale. But yes, so this is how we're shredding it. It's a very small shredder. So after the shredding, we store the plastics up here with the different colors, also with the different classifications. And then once we decide what we want to make for that day, what we would like to produce, we use either the extruder or the injection molded. For the extruder, the shredded plastic goes into the hopper. It is then propelled forward with a screw to these heat bands and then out comes extruded the plastic strips like this. And then we wrap it around a mold. But at the moment it's all about the Christmas trees. <laughs> yeah, they look amazing, such a great idea. So the belief behind Taka Taka Bora and the, the reason why we're here and the reason why we do um, what we do is number one, we need to rethink our plastic consumption. Secondly, um, is reform. Yeah, in a way we are reforming plastics, um, but as a society also we believe we need to, we need to reform. And then recycling is, is the last of the R's of Taka Taka Bora because uh, we strongly believe that we can't recycle our way out of the mess that we have created. Um, but do what you can. Although Taka Taka Bora are small at the moment, they prove that we need to shift our focus away from seeing discarded plastic as waste and see it more as a resource. And better than that, it's a free resource. There are many more videos coming up in our Circular Economy mini-series where we hope to inspire more sustainable practices and shed light on plastics, recycling and document all the projects that are helping to tackle plastic waste. So as ever, please continue to use our search engine to educate yourself further, help us remove plastic pollution from the ocean and be the ocean hero we know you can be. Woohoo!